in this session we will cover uh, question number seven and eight uh, this is very very important and a little bit difficult uh, but not very much and uh, the philosophy of this question number six and seven is almost the same as the question number six so uh, in this session in this question number seven and eight uh, will be discussed so let's start the question number seven and here we have uh, x minus three and two x minus one are the factors of this polynomial in this polynomial we have uh, two coefficients uh, here we have p and q so this q are twice written here uh, so this factors if this is factor of this with some, some certain values of q and uh, p uh, so we have to find the value of p and q for which th this two factors satisfy this polynomials and explain why x plus 3 is also a factor of the expression we have also we have to prove that this x plus 3 is also the factor of this expression so this is uh, the problem number 7 and the problem number 8 is x plus a is a factor of this so show that a cube minus 4a square plus 3a is equal to 0. So if this is a factor of this, then we have to show that this is this uh, is valid for if this is a factor of this. So find the possible values of a as well. So this is a, a very very important question. So let's start question number uh, 7. So here we have question number 7 uh, this x minus 3 and 2x minus 1 are factors of this polynomial and find the p and q and explain why x plus 3 is also factor in the b section and so start with x minus 3 0 so x is equal to 1 and 2x minus 1 is equal to 0 so x minus x is equal to 1 upon 2 so we will place in this polynomial this polynomial is px and we will place the value of x as a 3 if x is equal to 3 then polynomial 3 is equal to this one so we will place the value x as a 3 so value of x is equal to 3 in this values in this polynomial so this 3 this is 3 and this is 3 here so we will solve it and simplify we obtain 54 this is 9 cube this is 27 into 2 is 54 this is 9 3 square is 9 p and this is 3 to the 6 q plus q so this uh, on further simplification uh, this is minus 5 q minus 9 p and this is plus 54 so uh, 9 p uh, plus 5 q is equal to 54 so on uh, rearranging we have obtained this so this is uh, the first equation if p3 is equal to 0 then uh, 9p plus uh, 5q is equal to 54 54 is the first equation and in the second equation uh, the value of x is uh, uh, half so we will place in this polynomial uh, value of x is half so in placing value of half so this polynomials x half 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 and then and then I simplify it so this is uh, 1 over 8 into 2 is 1 over 4 so this is 1 over 2 square is 1 over 4 p and this is 2 to cancel so q and this is q so this will cancel out so 1 over 4 minus 1 over p is equal to 0 so uh, 1 over 4 can be taken out common so 1 minus p is equal to 0 so uh, this can be eliminated so 1 minus p is equal to 0 so p is equal to 1 so this uh, this way we have obtained p is equal to 1 so uh, this p is equal to 1 can be placed in a big equation number 1 so this p is equal to 1 so this will be simplified so p is equal to 1 so q is obtained as 9 so on placing equation number 1 p is equal to 1 so this is 9 minus 1 plus 5q is equal to 54 so this is 9 okay, we will change here shift it on the right side so this is 45 so 5q is equal to 45 q is equal to 9 so p is equal to 1 and q is equal to 9 is obtained for this part a 
and for part b we have to prove that x plus c is also a factor so we will uh, place a value of q is equal to 9 and uh, q is 9 and p is 1 so after this polynomial has been arranged with the value of p and q b and q uh, this polynomial is obtained now this polynomial we can uh, place this two factors is already given uh, this two factors is already given we have to find the order of this polynomial is 3 so the one more factor has to opt. so for the, the next factors we can write down this polynomial in terms of this so two factors are known and the third factor is considered as ax plus b so we have to find the value of a and b so this if this satisfies then we can obtain this value so this is ax plus b and on solving this we have uh, this uh, polynomials so on the multiplying with this one we have finally obtained this term so this is uh, element by element multiplications to obtain these values so this 2x 2a x square and x is x cube and 2b x square and then this 7 multiplied with this one and this one and then 3 multiplied with this one and this one so and finally this is 6 terms 3 and 5 and the one is missing is not uh, scanned properly so this is 3b here plus 3b and then solving we have obtained uh, this value so on comparing on this side to this side this is 2a is equal to 2 so a is equal to 1 so this 2a is equal to so a is equal to 1 for this factor uh, 2bx square here it is minus 1 2b minus 7a is equal to uh, minus 1 so this is minus 1 so a is known 1 so b is can be obtained as 3 so a and b is 3 so this in place of a we write 1 and in place of b we write 3 so this is another factor this is a third factor x plus b which is x plus 3 so it proved that this x plus 3 is the third factor of this polynomial x plus 3 is the third factor of this polynomial and this polynomial we have already obtained p and q to obtain this polynomials without p and q uh, variables but in instead its value the value of p and q has already been placed here now we have obtained the last factor so this is the problem number seven which is very very important from the examination point of view and now question number eight we have given x plus a the factor of this polynomial and we have to show that a cube minus 4 a square plus 3 a is equal to 0 and possible values of a so x plus a is the factor of this polynomial means x is equal to minus a so we will place x is equal to minus a in this polynomials so on placing the value of x is equal to minus a so minus a minus a minus a so this minus a this becomes a cube this becomes minus a square this is 8 a square this is minus a cube this is minus plus minus minus and 4 a square this is minus 3 a ounce for the simplification this is minus a cube uh, this is plus 4 a square minus 3 a so this is uh, this uh, since uh, x plus a is a factor so this this polynomial p a uh, is equal to 0 so we place this equal to 0 so on the uh, uh, taking minus sign common so this becomes a cube minus 4 a square plus 3 is equal to 0 so a cube minus 4 a square plus 3 a is equal to 0 this proved so this part has been proved so now, now we have to find the possible values of a so we have to factorize it so so part a so this is given and uh, we take the a as a common so this is left with this one so 
this now we factorize this one so we factorize we have obtained a minus 3 and a minus 1 so we have a is equal to 0 and a is equal to 1 we can factorize this easily this is simple uh, we have skipped some term uh, some steps here because it's very easy minus minus 3 and minus 1 so minus 3 and minus 1 is factor and we have write down a is equal to 3 a is equal to 1 and a is equal to 3 so this the possible values of a are 0 1 and 3 because this is a third order polynomial so there are three values of a so this is uh, the last question uh, now we have covered question uh, exercise 3.4 in the next session we will cover exercise